The Democrat candidates for president had another debate last night, and aside from the usual clowns, they were joined by a new face who hadn't been on stage for any of the previous debates. Mr. Sauer, you've been calling for impeachment for two years. Does there need to be bipartisan support? Well, Anderson, this is my first time on this stage, so I just want to start by reminding everybody that every candidate here is more decent, more coherent, and more patriotic than the criminal in the White House. His advisors had assured him that line would get him a thunderous applause. Except the audience was wondering, who the heck is this guy and what's he doing on stage? That's billionaire Tom Steyer, who's been wasting his fortune for the last three years, running ads everywhere encouraging people to impeach President Trump. And now he literally bought his way on stage because in order to qualify for the debates, you have to get something like 150,000 unique donors to give to your campaign. So he wasted millions of dollars on Facebook begging people to donate a dollar to his campaign, and it actually worked. Even The Daily Show is mocking this moron for wasting his money, tweeting out during the debate that Tom Steyer could single-handedly end homelessness in America, but hey, it's fun making commercials. It's highly unlikely that he'll actually qualify for the next debate, however. Same with Mr. Potato Head Cory Booker, who tried telling the moderators how to run the debate. But we cannot and must not turn our backs on the pain of the working class of this country. Senator Sanders, thank you. Uh, Mark? We want to move now to the economy. I, Senator I, 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 Warren, please. you've proposed some sweeping you're plans, you're free public college. Thank, thank you. The, we're to we're, we're going to keep... Sen Senator it Warren. Wrong to move on. Senator Warren. Andrew Yang, who's campaigning on the pipe dream that he'll give everybody $1,000 a month if they vote for him for president, also made the debate. And here he is making his case to the American people. It's time for who do you trust? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Money, money, money. Who do you trust? Me? I'm giving away free money. And where is the Batman? Tulsi Gabbard, who's often been the voice of reason amongst the Democrat candidates, was also there, where she did what Democrats always eventually do, proved she's completely incompetent. As people look to this automation revolution, they look to uncertainty. They don't know how this is going to affect their jobs and their everyday lives. And I, I agree with my friend Andrew Yang. I think universal basic income is a good idea to help provide that security so that people can have the freedom to make the kinds of choices that they want to see. Oh, I, I like money. I like money. I like money. I like money. Can't believe you like money, too. This is a woman whose campaign is on its last leg, and instead of using this opportunity to call out her party's craziness, she decided to join them. Camel Toe Harris decided to double down on her dream to ban President Trump from Twitter and went after Elizabeth Warren for not getting on board. And so... Senator Warren, I just want to say that I was surprised to hear that you did not agree with me that on this subject of what should be the rules around corporate responsibility for these big tech companies, when I called on Twitter to suspend Donald Trump's uh, account, that you did not agree, and I would, I would urge you to join me, because here we have Donald Trump, who has 65 million Twitter followers and is using that platform as the President of the United States to obstruct justice. And he and his account should be taken down. Now she has a 0% chance of actually becoming the President, but if a Democrat wins next year, because you don't go out and vote and don't get everybody that you know to go vote for President Trump, in all seriousness, she'll likely be appointed the Attorney General. While Joe Biden's dentures didn't fall out again, his performance last night was pretty weak. And many are wondering if it's going to solidify Elizabeth Warren as the new frontrunner. Vice President Biden, it just did not seem like he had a great night from the beginning. There were some answers, Shannon, that were word salad. I mean, they were just all over the map. I had no uh, idea and, and what some of them meant. Honestly. Some of them, you know, started off one way and went another way. But the big moment, I think, was when he was asked about Hunter Biden, which obviously is a story today because of the interview Hunter Biden gives to ABC this morning. Uh, here's the exchange with Anderson Cooper. The question is, if it's not okay for a president's family to be involved in foreign businesses, why was it okay for your son when you were vice president? Vice President Biden? Look, uh, my son did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong, huh? Even CNN, and I'm being serious, 
fact-checked him during the debate, tweeting out a real, actual fact-check, saying that Joe Biden claims he never discussed Ukraine dealings with his son, but his son indicated otherwise. <laughs> now, don't get too excited and start thinking they're going to report news again. This is just their way of throwing Biden under the bus and getting behind Elizabeth Warren. This is now causing many Democrats to become quite concerned that Elizabeth Warren is too far left or just not likable enough to beat President Trump. And so now there are more rumblings that Michael Bloomberg, the former New York City mayor and fellow New York billionaire, may get into the race to go against President Trump. There is some vacuum and demand for a kind of non-Biden alternative to w Warren and Sanders. What you saw tonight was that Warren and Sanders, they, they do not go after each other, and I think they don't go after each other because they really do view themselves as essentially comrades in arms in this. One thing is for sure, however, if you thought the 2016 election was wild, you better buckle up because we're in uncharted territory now. To show your support for the Republic and my channel, get yourself an America First shirt or a Trump Thug Life shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Like all of my designs, they are available to t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.